Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Vince and I post on this channel twice a week, every Wednesday and Friday, talking about options trading, teaching you guys some of the trades that I take, showing you some of the technical analysis. So if you want to stay tuned for some future videos and learn a little bit more about options trading, then make sure to go ahead, scroll down and press that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and break down the Netflix trade that me and the Discord members took yesterday into today, yielding us a little bit over 100%. Now this trade was on the riskier side and that's why I advised the members and I did myself. I lowered my position size and only risked one to 2% of my portfolio. This trade was something I like to call a gap up or momentum trade into the next day. When I see a stock closing really strong like Netflix did yesterday, usually it tends to repeat itself and continues higher the next day. Usually the pre-market has a nice gap up and that's exactly what we saw today. We went ahead, took calls yesterday a little bit before close and close them right in the morning, taking advantage of that pre-market gap up. So what we'll do is we'll dive into the charts. I'll show you the technical analysis that I did. I'll show you why I got into this play and why I thought it would gap up into the morning. And I'll show you where I got in and got out of these trades. Before I roll the intro, make sure to go ahead and destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification so that you guys know every single time that I post on the channel. All right, guys, so we got Netflix pulled up here. This is the five day, five minute chart. And first, I just wanna go ahead and show you this beautiful uptrend that Netflix has been on. So this is the last five days. This is the five minute chart. And what you guys can see is, you know, starting back here on Thursday, we had a really nice uptrend. It's been overextended a little, but came back to that trend here, came back to the trend here this Tuesday, bounced off of it, and then bounced off of it again later in the day. Now, this point right here was where Netflix really started to get a nice pump. These stay-at-home stocks, Netflix, Roku, Zoom, have been really popular lately. There's been some fears about the virus, you know, coming back in different countries. So, you know, this is a trade that what made sense, it made sense with what was moving in the market, and we saw a really nice pump on it Tuesday afternoon. So, looking at Tuesday afternoon, I'll go ahead and zoom in, and there's one thing that really stands out to me, and that is the volume. So, looking down here at the volume, right at three o'clock, what we can see is a really nice pump in volume right into the close of the day. So starting at three, we pumped really high. I mean, that was a 10, $15 move to the upside on Netflix with volume and news. So look, pulling up the live news, Netflix announced that they would be eliminating their free trials for Netflix uh, subscribers. So it's gonna be all paid members. And I think Wall Street just likes that. It's more money for Netflix. It's more subscription money. And being no free trials, it's good for the company. Even though it may not be good for customers, it is good for the stock. So we saw that pump because of that news. And right here is when we started to look at this and wanted to get into some options into the next day. When you see a stock closing this strong with this much volume, usually these stocks will continue into the next day. So looking at this again, you can see there's basically no volume when you look at this scale. And then right at three o'clock, a huge pump. And then obviously right at market close, you always get these large volume spikes, but a really nice last hour of the day. So pulling up my trades, I got into this. I got two Netflix call options. I got this October 16th, 600 calls for $1.05 and I sold them for 252, so just about 150% return. Now, I got, I went really small on this because as I said earlier, it's a risky play and I'm only risking a very small amount of my portfolio. I had about $210 into this and I made about $250 out of it. So a nice profit here. Pulling up the Discord chat, what I told to the group was a small Netflix play for continuation tomorrow. I think if Netflix had a monster day the coming day, these can go in the money. It was a little bit hopeful that $600 calls would go in the money, but it was something that was potential. Next day, 9.36 a.m., which is this morning right now, sold these for 146%, $300 return. So full transparency here, talking to the Discord chat, posting every trade that I take. If you guys wanna join this, first link in the description below. Now, I wasn't just talking here, we were talking in the options chat. We had members calling out Netflix, we had people looking at this. And we were talking about, you know, is this a good play to take into the next day? And I want to show you guys, you know, why we did this. So we saw this nice pump. I got into this around 332. So 332 is right here towards the end of the day. I sort of got this at the high. So 
pulling up the one minute chart. I think that'll be easier to look at. So pulling up the one minute chart here, 332 was right around here. So we had a pullback to the nine EMA, which if you guys have followed the channel, you know that I like this nine EMA, pulled back to it, I went ahead and got into it. Now we had a little bit of profit taking towards the end of the day, but with how small of a position I had, which was only $200, less than 1% of my portfolio, I was okay to hold this. My intentions were to hold it into the next morning. Now looking at the next morning, what we can see is that we definitely had that pre-market pump. So we had a nice pump up to 560, came again into the morning at around 565, and then bursted up to 570 right at market open. Now, what I, when I saw this really quick burst higher, I knew that this would not hold up. It's, you know, sometimes it does, but it's very unlikely that a quick pump, almost $10 a share will hold up all day. So I just went ahead, had 150% return, and I took my profits. I did not want to get greedy on this. Looking at when I got out of it, I got out at 936. So zooming into this, 936 was right here on this candle. Saw this really big pump past pre-market highs. Got out of it, didn't want to get caught in this one. It's a small return. It was just a trade to try to get that pre-market gap up. My goal was to take advantage of that, and I didn't want to overextend myself and get greedy on this. Because of that, I took my profits. So I like to do this trade quite a bit. I like to risk a little bit of my portfolio, 1% to 2%, on some of these really strong closing stocks. Netflix had a great close with volume, and I'm okay risking a small percent of my portfolio to try to take advantage of this move right here. This happens quite a bit if you guys watch the market on a consistent basis. You will see stocks gap up in the pre-market, and the only way to take advantage of that is to try to take a position the day prior. You can't trade options during the pre-market, during after hours, so you can try to risk a very small amount and try to get a position that opens up higher in the morning. Now remember, this is a somewhat of a gamble. It's not 100% strategy. And that's why I highly recommend do not risk a lot of money on a trade like this. This is really speculative, but it's trying to take advantage of some momentum here. So I want to make it clear that this type of trade is not something I recommend to do on a consistent basis. This is not a trade that you should have, you know, all the time. This is not a trade that you should stick to, and it's not your main strategy. This is a trade that you look at, you see a strong close in the stock, and you say, you know what, I want to risk $100, $200, something really small, 1% of your portfolio, and try to catch that pre-market run-up. I know a lot of people take this trade and go way too big on their position sizes and wake up the next morning to a market gap down, and you know that really hurts. That is not the way to start your morning. So make sure to look at these trades and be speculative and only risk a small amount of your portfolio. The nine period exponential moving average strategy that I use during my normal market hours, that's my main strategy. If you guys wanna see that strategy, look at my last few videos. I'll also pop it up on the screen right here. Now that's a strategy that I recommend you use more often and you can use throughout the day. This strategy is just a one-off strategy that I use to try to take advantage of some of this momentum. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. I hope that you guys understand what I was doing here, my mindset behind it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to go ahead and put them down in the comments below or join the Discord chat. I'm there every single day talking to my members every single day, all day, sitting in this exact position from 9 to 4 o'clock every single day answering all of the questions that you guys have so if you want to join first link in the description below with all that being said make sure to go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification so that you know every single time that i post on this channel i hope to see you in the video on friday and have a great rest of your day peace